bending, extending, twisting, turning, all while supporting the entire weight of the body. This is what makes the knee so vulnerable to athletic injury, especially when that knee belongs to Rafael Nadal. Last year, injuries to his patellar tendon in his left knee forced him to miss seven months of competition. His road back was slow, largely because of the impact and range of motion his knees withstand, as this sequence shows. In setting up for his backhand, his left heel strikes the ground, causing a brief hyperextension of the knee and then an immediate bending. To maintain balance, the anterior cruciate ligament and the medial meniscus strain to stabilize the joint. Here, on one leg, his left knee is bearing a load that could exceed a thousand pounds. With the quadriceps muscle working to keep the knee joint stable, the patellar tendon is carrying that load from the muscle and pressing on the fat pad, an area of pain for Nadal. Adding to the stress on the knee is that the tibia is now in a fixed position, but the femur is still moving. Nadal's two-handed backhand places even more strain on the left knee. It creates more trunk rotation than a one-handed backhand, causing much more twisting in the knee joint. Twisting the patellar tendon and adding stress to the area of Nadal's injuries. The constant forces on Nadal's knee will be intensified when he plays the French Open this week, his first Grand Slam event since returning from his injury. <laughs>